We need to know more about your salt satchel. Well, not every place has salt. So I make sure whenever I see a place that has uh, salt, I pick up some salt. I put it uh, in my little uh, Mets, uh, thing that I got in City Field and, uh, and occasionally I want, want to take a little hit of salt. Oh, that's not for food, it's for... Oh no, I do that for food too. Oh. Because there's a place that doesn't have salt. You're always prepared. Yep. Smart man. Take me out for some hot dogs. All right, I've made it back to Clifton. You know, Clifton, you can say that Clifton might be the hub of hot dogs. You got Rudd's Hut, you got uh, the Hot Grill, you got hot dogs galore here, and of course you got the new Corral, which is a classic Greek style diner that's been here for years. And there used to be a lot of them. There used to be the Red Chimney, there used to be Fall View Grills, but they're sadly disappearing. But we still have the new Corral to enjoy hot dogs, and I'm gonna give their hot dog a try and see if they how they rate on the tank scale. Frank, you got some history on this place? Well, it's been open since 1942. That's all we got. Very good. One plain hot dog here. One cheese and sauce. Yeah, yeah. Plain fries for you. Mm -hmm. Another plain fries here. New Corral has been in business since 1942. Now, about 35 years ago, they had a fire. And um, they had to rebuild, restart, and that's how they became went from being the corral to the new corral. But they've tried, they've succeeded, and in 2014 they were named the best hot dogs in New Jersey. Now they use the uh, deep fried hot dog. It's got a nice little burst here, nice little crust you can see. Good bun to dog ratio. Now we're gonna give them the most important test. Good snap. Like a lot of places in Clifton, it's the Dumans pork beef blend. It's a classic place with a classic feel. I'm gonna give this hot dog a triple. What they show outside is the Texas Wiener. Now the Texas Wiener is a chili dog with cheese, onions and mustard. Now I'm leaving off the onions and mustard. Yes, when you get a Texas wiener, it's the chili that makes a difference. It's the chili that you really want to taste. Go to cheese, the um, Kraft American slices, the four boy slices. You know what I've always said about that on the hot dog, but you know the, you can tell that the uh, charring is still good on the hot dogs, but the most important test is how it actually tastes. It's a tomato leaf chili, not very meaty. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this a single. It's not meaty enough. The uh, cheese slice is not what I wanna see on a 
chili dog, chili cheese dog. I want to see uh, shredded cheese or melted cheese. But I'm going to give that a single. The chili is decent, very tomatoey, but not as meaty as I would like it to be. And then, of course, we've got the fries here. These fries look like basic fries. Nothing spectacular. I'm going to give them a 6.7. You know, the old Greek diners, they're the ones who really started the hot dog revolution. You go to Detroit, you have American and Lafayette, and a lot of places like this. Gus is down in Alabama, where I visited. And it's, the new corral is part of that tradition. And that is what makes hot dogs so great. It's that, it, it, it's character, it gives neighborhoods character. And you can eat it anytime, anytime, any place. And then if you find a good one, you just want to go there again and again. So click like, subscribe, tell me where I should go next. And of course, you could buy either the classic shirt or the Raw Dogging on the Road shirt at the Barstool store. So keep Raw Dogging and I'll see you on the road. See you anywhere. See you later. Take me out for some hot dogs. Get me one that's only plain. No mustard or horror ketchup. I'll know what the dog is really about. And it's hope that this is a good one. Maybe a home run or a double. But if it sucks, it will be a strikeout and not worthy of my taste buds. <laughs> Me? Oh man, oh my god, that was that not. Was, that was all my fault. It's perfect, you're good. Here we go, raw dogging around the Christmas tree. Here we go, raw dogging around the holiday season. Get a shirt, buy it now, and you go raw dogging. It is time for raw dogging season. Yes, that's right, for a limited time, raw dogging season ugly sweaters are available. Go to the Barstool store and get one now.